In 1848, there was a woman by the name of Mary Slezon. She was a short, red-haired Presbyterian missionary from Scotland who became known as a white ma in Nigeria. She preached there and ministered there for 39 years. She was the daughter of an alcoholic father. She had a desire to go into the mission field and preach the gospel. She was always told you'll never go and preach the gospel because you are a woman. You can't go on the mission field. She found her inspiration from the life of David Livingston, the British explorer who carved the trails in the interior of Africa so missionaries could reach its people. In many ways, Livingston was like a Mordecai to Mary. When Livingston died in 1873, she felt that she must continue the work in Africa. She was determined to go. She eventually sailed to West Africa at the age of 28 and single-handedly established a base of operations in the Calabar regions. It was a dangerous place where traditional rulers worshipped demons, killed babies, buried widows with their, where buried widows with their dead husbands in the grave. She was known to go directly to uh, preach to the tribal kings. She challenged them on the mistreatment of children and women. She was known for opposing the horrific practice of killing twins because they thought in their culture that it was a bad omen. When you had twins, we know it's a blessing from God. But she, and so they used to kill the twins and she went and she, she fought on the, on the children's behalf and she changed and dismantled that tradition. Today in Algeria, Mary is honored as a spiritual mother, not one who only saved the lives of, of men and women, but she ignited the fire of spiritual revival that still burns today in that nation, 